Thank you for joining us today. My name is Kirsten with the Material Bar here in Tacoma, Washington, your kitchen and bath showroom specializing in cabinetry and all sorts of other fun finishes like wallpaper. And we'll be talking about that in just a little bit. But today, let's jump into our topic. How do we really integrate our pets into our homes because they are part of our family? Let's, let's go over some really fun ideas. And just to introduce you to my dog who I consider my family. I mean, he is the only man I listen to. I call him my old man because he is 10 and a half years old. He's a 150 pound Rhodesian Ridgeback. Here's a picture of him wearing just the cutest bandana from Ellie and Nala Design Co. We'll have a link for that below. Um, but yeah, he's absolutely my baby. He's just a super big snuggle bud and I really enjoy setting up my living space to integrate living with him and making tasks just easier, more efficient, storing his items in a more efficient way and keeping it clean, right? Like doggy bowls, things like that. I just love it to stay neat. So I kind of plan for what I need to have to have the perfect setup for living with him, AKA uh, my mom likes to call us the dynamic duo, Mowgli. All right, let's get started. Number one, and this is a little bit different for everybody, but think about your food storage. There has been a couple of kitchens that we worked on with um, our clients where we actually utilized, for example, waste pullout units with a lid that you can store the doggy food in there with a scoop and then it's really easy and accessible, okay? So think about like, you know, having that food storage somewhere integrated that you can like very easily access it, use the scoop, get the food done for your pet and uh, just tucking it away again, okay? Because those bags, you can buy really big bags. I know for my dog, it used to be really big bags. Now I actually cook for him, so it completely changed the way that I store his food. But think about food storage and how you can potentially integrate it. Using waste pullouts is a good idea for that. Next on the list, I would call this an integrated kind of um, doggy station or food station, right? But just an integrated station somewhere in your kitchen or maybe an off closet or maybe on the side of an island. It's kind of a section that we've done in several different ways on how the end result kind of looked and the features it had, but it's an integrated kind of doggy station that will hold the water bowl and the doggy bowl, okay? And it's I think it's really important that you use a hard surface where you kind of insert or cut out for the doggy bowl and also think about the back of it and the side of it and potentially using splashes because if I think about my dog, I mean, he is just, okay, it's a big mouth. I mean, there's water all over the place when he starts drinking, okay? So think about that, that there's splashes and when I have, for example, a painted finish on my cabinet, I don't necessarily want to constantly have water splashing on that. So if you do any kind of integrated section like that, use hard surfaces around, give it a backsplash so everything can stay super nice and protected, but it will look so good and it'd be a very dedicated section that can be nicely cleaned up, but you don't end up with these bowls on the floor and everywhere, okay? There's also a second version of this integrated dog bowl station. And it's instead of having a, a completely built cutout section like that, you could also go the route of having the doggy bowls integrated in a pullout drawer. This way you can tuck it all away. Keep in mind, this is gonna be a lot more for the scenario of like morning and evening. It's time for food, for dinner, but my water bowl is probably going to be somewhere else throughout the day, okay? So just think about the different scenarios and think about how you are feeding your dogs, what is your rhythm, you know, what is your schedule looking like, how do you usually operate this? Next on the list, if you end up with a station that is, you know, maybe let's say on the back of your island and you do have this built out section that's always accessible, Maybe think about adding a pot filler here for the drinking water so you can easily fill up the bowl and you're not walking forever, you know, with a really big bowl of water. I mean, I have a really big bowl of water for Mowgli. He's a big guy. He's 150 pounds. I mean, he just keeps drinking so much. So like that's a lot of walking and a lot of water. So I wish I had a pot filler, but um, not in my current space, but it's definitely a really cool idea that we've seen on Pinterest a lot. And I have a friend working on that right now. So I'm super excited for that to come out in a couple of months, but it is a really neat kind of feature to add to a, an open doggy section like that. Next on the list, have you ever thought about a doggy wash station? 
and it's becoming more and more popular. You see it in mudrooms, and in case you didn't know, we work on all rooms in a home, and uh, you know, European design, where I kind of grown up in, we have cabinetry in a lot of rooms, in the living room and, and entry room everywhere, and especially in rooms like a mudroom, and people love using mudrooms and laundry rooms to add these doggy wash stations. And I mean, they're amazing. I'm working on a really fun project right now. It's an elevated doggy station. We have smaller dogs in this home. And there is actually, there are really fun plumbing accessories that you can use um, instead of a regular faucet or a shower head. There are specific plumbing features for these faucets that are for like kind of doggy grooming stations. So super excited about that project and I know it will definitely change this client's life to just stand up, not having with a small dog to potentially like bend down in a walk-in shower, but stand up. It's good for my back and I can definitely have my dog and wash the dog right there and everything is like right in its place where it needs to go. It's definitely a really cool, fun um, kind of like feature and built in for your home. So think about a doggy wash station. And if you are working on your doggy station in your home, think about adding fun wallpaper. We actually um, have a really amazing supplier called Milton and King who manufactures wallpapers and it's really fun. It's like I love looking at their wallpapers and we have a lot of samples and their book, uh, their sample book in our showroom. And these are just some examples. This one is called Doggy's Wallpaper and it comes in two different colors, a darker version and a lighter version. And then there is also another one that we picked out, which was really fun. It's called Off the Leash. Kind of reminds me, you know, a little bit of that fun neon kind of era. So um, have fun with those stations. I hope that this gave you some fun ideas um, and you, you, maybe you've seen some images that could really be added to your upcoming project, to your design. Um, it definitely changes the space when you have like a really cool, fun, like organized designated area for all of your doggy things. I always love doing that in any kind of space that I'm living with my pup. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, leave your comments below and make sure to join us in our community. Again, the link is below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week, bye.